All right, so it's time for our scenario two. So as part of scenario two, we're gonna do a basic search flow. So we're gonna search for a country, example, you can search for India, and then you're gonna assert that the page URL contains that particular text as well as the search term. And this one is similar to the previous flow we did, so it will be a good practice for you. And then we can also assert the text contains results for India. Now we haven't looked into this, but this is another sort of assertion that we're gonna add in. Now the key learning over here is how to do your base assertions, that is asserting for URL, asserting for text, and then also focusing on using different locator strategies. As part of the search flows, you can have to find different elements. When you're finding different elements, there are different locator strategies you can use with Playrate, which is what we're gonna be covering in this flow. So let me head over to the website and show you what this flow will look like. All right, so I'm back over here on the website. So this is the search button right here. So you need to first find this search element. Once you do that, you have to simply type in the country name. Let's say here I can type in India, and then you have to hit enter to actually search for that term. The moment you search for it, you're gonna see at the top, you will have this keyword being added in. So you need to assert that the URL contains search question mark term equals India. If you want to be fancy, you can keep this dynamic as well, but if you want, you can hard code this as well. Now here, you're gonna see the results being coming up. So we have 15,215 results for India. All you have to do is ignore the number, simply make sure you can see results for India being come up. So there's two assertion. First one is to assert the URL, and second one is you should assert for this particular text results for whatever the country you search for. So in my case, I search for India, so it's gonna show up results for India. Same thing with the search term as well. Now, when you're searching for the elements, there are different locator strategies you can use, and Playwright has a nice guide on that. If I go to, let's say, the Playwright documentation and simply search for locator, you will find locator's guide. So let's say go to here, and you can see this is a quick guide of which locators to use. Now, there are all of these recommended built-in locators. So you can find via role, via text, via label, placeholder, and so on. So I want you guys to be using these locators instead of using the generic page.locator. So try to use these ones as part of your test. This is just gonna be a good exercise for you to try out different locator strategies. So again, you're gonna use these locators to find your elements, and then you're gonna add in your assertions, which is to find your URL as well as find this particular text. So go ahead and try this out on your own, and then I will show you how to do this as well. All right, so now let's go ahead and implement our scenario too. So I'm gonna head over to VS Code, and here I'm gonna add in my new test. So I can simply copy the old test and simply change this right here to say search and verify new URL and heading. Everything else will remain the same. Now this particular thing right here will get updated based on the new URL that we're gonna find. So before we do that, actually let's delete this. We can add that in in a bit. I need to first go ahead and click on that search button. So let's go back to our Chrome. And here I'm gonna go back to home page and then do right click on the search and do inspect. All right, the moment I do this, you can see this is the particular search element that I need to access. Now, as I was telling you, there's different ways you can find that particular element and Playrate offers multiple strategies. So the strategy, the first strategy we're gonna use is to get by role. So in this case, the role we have is the button. So this search is the button. So I'm gonna do get by role. It's gonna be button. And this button has a name called search. So that's what I'm gonna be using over here. Again, to see how that works, you can go to the locator strategies right here. And you can see they're already using button page.getbyroll button and using a name. In my case, it's gonna be page get by role button and the name will be search. So let's go ahead and try to implement this. All right, so I'm back in our IDE and here we're gonna add in our new locator. So we can do await page dot get by role. Now there's different get strategies we can use. So get attribute, get by all text and so on. We can even do, let's say get by test ID or get by text. In our case, we are gonna go with get by role as that's one of the recommended strategies that they follow and here, we're gonna say the one we need is the button. Now, by the way, there's different role strategies you can use right over here, alert, alert dialog, block, button, caption, cell, and so on. We're gonna go with button, and then we will give a name for that button. The name is search. 
then here I'm going to do dot click. Now, why are we going with this way instead of simply doing page.locator and providing some kind of class or ID and so on? Well, the reason being is this is accessibility friendly because here, if something fails, let's say if you're using this kind of thing, right, this class, this class can be applied to any kind of strategies. It can be applied to an element um, like a regular button. It can be applied to a regular link text or it can be for table, rows, whatever that might be. It can be, this class can be applied anywhere. So if that class can gets applied to something else and we try to search for it, make sure it's visible, we might get some wrong assertion being passing over there, right? Because this class is somewhere else and we will think, oh, this is actually for my logo, but that's actually applied somewhere else by mistake. And we're going to say, yep, it's passing and it's working fine. However, in this case, what's happening is I'm saying, hey, not only I'm saying the text should be search, I'm also saying the role should be button. So I'm being really specific. So this has to be a button with the particular name of search. So if either of those changes, it will fail. So either the name changes to something else, it will fail. If the button gets changed to a link, it will fail. It gets changed to some div, it will fail again. So that's why we are being extremely specific over here that, hey, in future, if you make some UI updates, we want it to know that something changed and for the test to particularly fail. That's the advantage of being it accessibility friendly. And also when we write this kind of test from accessibility perspective as well, it is nice for us because we are saying that this is a button and this is a search. So whenever you use an accessibility tool, it will get recognized as a button that has a name search. So you get multiple advantages by using this kind of strategies. And there's more details that you can go into the Playwright site and read about it. All right, so once we have clicked the button, next thing we need to do is type in that input field. So let's go ahead and find the element for that input field. So I'm going to go back to Chrome. And right here, I'm going to click on this search button at the top and then right here i'm going to go ahead and see what the this particular thing is now here this is an input field an input field has a placeholder so we can use another locator strategy that is get by placeholder so we can use this particular placeholder here and simply try to search this element using the placeholder now again this is as part of the locator strategy so you can see page dot get by placeholder is something we can use to locate an input by placeholder so let's do that. I'm going to go back to VS Code and I'm going to add in, let's say, create a new variable here called search input. And I'm going to say await page.getPy placeholder. And that placeholder is what? It's actually search cricket world cup. So let me just copy that and paste it right here. And actually, this does not really need an await, so I can remove that because it's not a promise. So I can simply remove that. Perfect. So I've stored it into a variable called search input, which is now a locator, as you can see right here. So let's go ahead and start using this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already clicked on the search button. I have added in my search input. So I'm going to do search input dot fill. Fill is what you use to type something in in Playwright. So I'm going to do fill. And what are we filling it with? I have to add in the country name. Let's say I'm going to add in India. And then I'm going to have to hit enter over here. Now, by the way, when you use something called a fill, make sure what it is using. It's using a promise. So I need to add in a wait keyword right here. That's good. So this will go ahead and fill in India. And then I want to make sure I press enter. So I can add another line for that. Do await such input dot. I can do press. And then I can say which key to press. So the key I want to press is enter. So I can just type in enter. It's also giving me example here. I can do get by role dot text box dot press backspace. So in my case, I'm simply doing search input dot press enter. So it will hit enter after it has typed in India. So let's try to run this to make sure this is actually working. So I'm going to do execute playwright test. So it's going to search for India and it successfully passed. So it was super quick. We're going to really see it. So let's add in some kind of pause so that we can actually see that this is actually working. So I can just do await page.pause. So let's run this again. There you go. So it paused it right here. Page.pause is over here. And you can see it has searched for India. Perfect. Now we need to make sure that we're getting this results for India being come up. So let's find that as well. So I'm going to close my test. 
So first thing I want to make sure that the URL contains that search term India. So we're going to use the same assertion as before. So we will do expect page.url. This is same as before. There's nothing different here. It should contain and then simply add in what it should contain. So in my case, the search term should be India. Perfect. Whatever you add in should be the term over here as well. And now we need to verify that particular text, which is results for India. So let's go back to our website and type in India here. Now right here, I can select this. And this is the text. And you can see here we have a span and we have this results. And then we have this thing here for. So this particular entire uh, text is broken down into separate text over here or separate span. So maybe we can simply get this search filters title. So this thing right here, in this case, I can just use page.class because here I, I can see that this class is used over here for search filter title. I can search for this and it's a unique node as well. You can getting one of one right here. Now let's go back and then add that in over here. So I'm going to add in another session. I'm going to do await, expect, page.locator, add in my locator. Now what do we want it to do? We want to say that it should have some kind of text, right? We want to assert the text. So the good part is we have a nice assertion for that, which is to have text. And here I can simply add in my text. So if you're thinking, all right, I'm going to add in the text, which was results for India. So let's add that in and see what we get back. Let's do this. And I'm going to save and try to run this and see what we get back. So there you go. Our test is working. So it went ahead and did a partial text search and made sure that results for India is there in that entire div or the entire span. Now we can try to make this fill. Let's say if I remove this part and just do result for India and try to run this, I've removed the S. This will most likely fill because this text is not there. And as you can see, it's taking longer. And right here, our text filled. It's saying, hey, I was expecting this whole thing. Instead, I just got result for India. So let's go back and make the fix for this results for India. There you go. And now the whole thing should work once again. All right, so that's it for our second scenario. The key thing that we learned over here is how to work with different locator strategies. We learned how to use get by role as well as get by placeholder. We also learned how to add text to the input field and also use the key command, which is press enter. And then finally, we looked at how to use uh, text assertion by doing dot to have text. So that's it for now. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next scenario.